what is the dark side, the disadvantages of using debit card and credit cards in general versus using cash? We usually get so much excited when we use credit card. It is very convenient. You stay at your home, you purchase something, you are happy. You are excited. Life becomes easy. You order something on Amazon, they bring at home. You order something from food store, they bring at home. That's how we roll now. We don't use very often cash. That is becoming a very big challenge for so many people right now. Yes, we see this is the life. This is the new norm. What should we do? We just go and purchase. You have a smile on your face. You purchase something. But that, all those three, four bags of purchases will be different if you are using cash. Trust me on that. That smile will go away if you spend cash. Yes, it is cash in the form, in the plastic card. You are happy, excited, having good time, feeling better even when you do those purchases using a debit or credit card. The money which is not is a physical cash on your pocket. You can be with your spouse, your loved one, do something, purchase online, make the hotel reservation, plan something, buy something online without even considering. You can go take shower before you are doing something. Let me purchase something. I saw this commercial. You do that. Or you can be laying just on the bed with you also with your loved one. What you are going to do? Still on bed or coming from work or something like that. You have your tablet, your phone, your laptop. What you do? You purchase something. It's easier, very convenient. And this is how capitalism is growing every single day by doing that. You're just laying down on the couch, happy, smiling. Do some online purchases. That's how it is. That's how we they get us. That's how capitalism is making these conveniences. It's easy, I agree. It's very convenient, but we pay a very big price. The big price to the extent that majority of people are going to be depressed. Majority of people are going to be sad. People starting crying, feeling isolated because you don't know, you don't have money in your card anymore. Because you can easily purchase unnecessary things when you have or you are using the card. That will be different if you are spending using cash. You will not be this sad if you are using actual cash to purchase your items. Even to, tonight, I just purchased something over 200 and something because I purchased uh, another equipment for my YouTube. But I could not spend all the amount of money if I had the cash to, pay, to spend 200, 300, 400 just for the equipment. I could think twice, do I really need this item? it will be different. Sometimes we affect our credit score because we have to start using everything because if you have credit card, you have to find a way to get another card, another card, another card. That becomes a problem. The gentleman is crying, sad, depressed because you spend almost everything. Probably you are going to ask for the bank to give you another credit card or to increase the credit limit. But if you play well, your card will be better, scores being going to be better, and you are going to be approved. But if you play bad, the line will be going back way, back way to the red line to make sure that you have a lot of poor credit and you will be in a very big trouble instead of being in the green line 
which is a very good credit score. You have choice to make. Do you want to use the credit card and these debit cards or you want to use the actual cash to be able to do that? And if you do that, that's where we are suggesting people to be able to use cash. By using cash, you are giving yourself an opportunity to control your money. Opportunity to be able to use the physical cash and you cannot just buy unnecessary things. In order to go to buy something, you have to go to the actual store. Just assume someone is asking for the money. Uh, can you give me $20? It is easier to send that through Vimno, Vim or whatever, to send it through PayPal, to, to, send, to send it through M-Pesa, or to use it to pesa or to use Zeal, whatever it is, it is very easy. But it's difficult to pay $100 to someone. So when it is the money is in digital form or in the bank, it is easier to use it than when you have the real cash. So one of the techniques many people are using are going back to the normal life of using the actual cash. So if you want to, to buy something, you have to go to the store. Not just, oh, I, want this, I just want something from Amazon. Boom, they're going to bring to you. So this is what I want to make sure that you use your money wise. You can use the cash, but also you can find a way on how you can invest the rest of the money so that you can be able to have what we call the American dream and to be able to live or enjoy your life and the retirement down the road as we're predicting. So that is what I want to share with you today about the dark side of the credit card. The dark side of using debit card the dark side of using the digital money sometimes we don't value the money but once once you have the actual cash and these are proven facts when you have the money in the card you are tempted most of the time and you don't think too much when they say oh this one is fifty dollar you just buy but if you open your wallet and take a $50 to pay for something, you just ask yourself, do I really need this item? Or is it just another waste of my money? No, I'll just wait. Or you, 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 you want to buy uh, lipstick or something, whatever. It is easy to purchase online because you are convenient at home. But if you, do, you have just cash, you cannot turn on your car or get into the public transportation and to the market or to the store to buy something. So one of the way is starting having cash in your wallet instead of spending too much money on credit, debit, or digital form. This way, it will be able to help you to stick on your budget when you have the actual cash on your hand. So thank you so much, and I wish you all the best for you to find different techniques. This is working for many people. It might not work for you, but you try to see if it works for you. If it is good, use it on your own advantage. Again, this is Ernest EBM from Missouri, United States of America. Don't forget to subscribe to my youtube.com slash EBM Scholars. Until next time, bye-bye.